Hey, it's Bonefist, Peterborough's first real superhero. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your stab resistant vest again. Uh, we're going to be adding plate pouches to it today so you can, you know, be a bit more modular with your armor. You can take out whatever pieces. If they are ones that need to be replaced, you can replace them instead of having to make a whole new vest or cut that piece out. Now what you're going to need is some tape, uh, a plate already made up. We're going to be doing it with our HDPE plate that I have uh, made. We'll be showing you how to make these in the future. Till now, just check out the uh, previous two videos where I show how to make the vest and then upgrade it. Now we do have the strap on, the, the strap on, <laughs> uh, around it just to keep it up, but it isn't Velcroed on yet because we're going to be going to be adding the plate to uh, right here. So line up your plate to where you want it to be. Take a piece of tape that's a little bit longer than it. And you're going to want to put it on backwards. So this is the sticky end. You want the sticky end outwards. And then just wrap it around. So you're, you're making kind of a casing for it. Uh, I'll start it down. Just so you have that room. Go up. You don't have to make it super tight. Especially if your plate isn't even. Mine isn't the evenest. So we're not going to go too tight on it. And you're going to repeat this process all the way up. Obviously, it's going to get a bit more difficult through these parts. It can be a bit janky once you're going around. These parts, I, I, I don't really mind leaving loose. You're going to go over it again, uh, over this, this layer with some more. So it's okay if they're loose. Repeating it again. You want them to be as close as possible to the, the last one. You don't want to leave too much of a gap. It's okay if there's a bit of one, but the tape will make contact and you don't, you don't want it to do that. I'd say that's pretty good up to the top there. Now we will do one going around the bottom, at least for now. So I'll just make a strip. Lift it up, <laughs> lift this up with it, of course. Lay it on its side, got a little bit taped to itself, it's okay. And then we're just gonna do the same thing around the bottom here. Making those layers and folding it in on itself so it stays taped. part got a bit janky so I'm going to go under it again try not to make it too tight like I said I'm going to go over that again now you can go over the top of it so normal tape way now you can bring it over it so the the whole thing isn't sticky, of course. So we'll do one more around here. Like I'm saying, just go over it now. So see, this part isn't sticky. Looking a lot better. If you do have pieces kind of sticking out, you can fold it on itself just a bit so it's not sticking to them as much at least. Do the same thing on the bottom. We're going to go over this part one more time. Oh, 
obviously the thicker the the better so see we have a pretty pretty good pouch there that we can remove this out of obviously you can do it up as much as you want make it a bit better we do have that piece in there now now what you can do see we do have a bit sticking out the top is build almost a flap coming off of it what I'll do is just take a bit of this fold it over probably about halfway tape this on above it and then build a flap off of that so see you have a little bit of a, a, a lip here build a flap and just keep folding it on itself take that piece there a bit stronger and then you can bring it out you see what I mean you bring this down you have enough of a lip that now you could use velcro to keep that down I don't have any on me right now but you get the idea I will do it up in the final final product I will go over it a bit more for the next video have it ready but all you're doing is like I said just making a flap that can come over it doesn't have to be too perfect you can always go over everything after make it a lot more flush a lot more cleaned up Part. There you got your your flap. I will do a little more on that. Oh, could be a bit better. Hold on. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Especially if you're wearing this under something, no one's going to see it. You know, just add a little tab maybe at the bottom. Something like that. And then have Velcro here so you can just fold it down, lift it up. Take out whatever plate you have in there and then you can just close it back up if you don't want a plate in there. And that's all you have to do, you know, to really, if we have a bit of corner there, you can tape that up. It's not going to be too bad. It might stick a bit, but you can just pull on it. It's going to come out. Uh, other than that, you know, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me how your video went. Uh, soon we'll be doing a test of the armor. We might do a couple more modifications to make it optimized. And then we'll try some of the weapons that we built up against it. You know, we can put it on like a mannequin or something. You know, uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. But like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bone fist out.